as uh, mentioned in a, our video, one of the t things we often do when working with topographical maps, especially as using, we have a existing topographical map as our background, and then we have added our own data on top of them. So that's one of the situations we very, we very often use existing topographical maps that is as some background for some data that we have created ourselves um, and we therefore often want to be able to indicate what is our data and what is the, the so our important data that we have added on top of that existing topographical map that we use to um, to locate ourselves with um, in this situation, I have a data set where I have not a topographical map, but an aerial photograph, doesn't really matter, same, same. And uh, what I want to do is that I want to um, make sure that this aerial photograph appears as if it was the background, so that I can have more emphasis on my two yachts. Um, first of all, I might just... Uh, classify them according to the name of the boat so like that I don't I haven't got any other like that so now I've got my two important yachts in Copenhagen Harbour if I want to make downplay the auto photo here or topographical map I can go in and say properties and I can then go I've got two possibilities I go into my style, and what I can do is if I decrease the saturation, what it will do is it will be more, be created more and more as a grey tone color. I say apply. You can see I'm removing some of the color variation of the air photograph. So it's being played down as a black and white. Um, I can make it lighter so something like this where I have a relatively light background with um, a low saturation the advantage of doing this is that if it had been a topographical map texts that are black and black they will still appear as strong black um, while I have dimmed out my colors of my data set. So that is one approach that you can use that if you want to do map background you can go down and you can remove um, the saturation of the layer. The other possibility that you can use is that, i just reset these, is that you can go into the transparency and then you can create make the layer transparent even though there's no background we can still do use transparency to make things look less uh, prominent so I have now added a transparency so it has this dimmed my background there and again it becomes very obvious what are the two important things of this map here namely my two yachts so if you want to dim a layer in QGIS you have these two possibilities. You can all use transparency, which typically works the best. Um, and set that to 60 or something like it. Or alternatively, you can go in and uh, in the symbology and style here and then downplay the saturation, which will convert the data set to being a more, less colored data set. And um, but and the advantage is of course that you do not get transparency, so we have all the layers, don't get any influence of that, and that you can have all the labels, the text that from the topographical map that are in pure black, they will be conserved as being pure black if you use this thing about reducing the saturation. So two different approaches to downplaying your background and you choose whatever you need in your situation.